talks have only just begun, but even that is progress. Saturday marks the first day of the so-called dialogue on Burundi, and it's hoped these talks will pave the way to peace. They have the prime responsibility. Hundreds of Burundians have died since the crisis began, and the regional bloc, the East African community, believes these talks in Arusha are the best chance to end the conflict. This is an international effort. It is an historic effort. We don't have an option here to fill. The violence began when President Pierre Okurunziza announced his intentions and then won a third term in office. A quarter of a million Burundians were displaced, many of them fled to Tanzania. Bujumbura insists that some opposition groups shouldn't be at these talks, though. Our government has said that it is ready and open to discuss with all the political stakeholders um, who are peaceful. If you go by the, the international organization's pronouncements on Burundi, both have come up with a clear uh, indication as to which category of people should be around the table. And those ones have to be peaceful. We are not making that up. It's in the resolutions 2248 and 2279. Civil society groups say the government has been intentionally stalling the peace talks to cement its grip on power. But Bujumbura denies those claims. Still, several opposition parties here have little faith in these talks. No, the government doesn't want to talk. And they say that we don't come to Arusha. So they came to Arusha because the facilitation is on their side. And the opposition, the opposition is not here. That's a big problem. But despite their differences, at least three major parties are here and more are expected. Until the last few hours, nobody was really sure who was going to show up at this dialogue, but both the government and some opposition parties are here. Diplomats say this will take time, it will take consultation and there will be no easy fix. But just getting the sides talking is a start. Dan Ashby, CCTV in Tanzania.